Hello. Today we will learn about assignment operators and their types. In Python, assignment operators are used to set or update the value of a variable. There are two types: basic assignment operators and compound assignment operators. Let us understand each of these with examples. The basic assignment operator is the equal to sign. It assigns the value on its right to the variable on its left. Here's an example. In this example, the equal to or the assignment operator sets the length value to 15. So that was the basic assignment operator. Now let us look at compound assignment operators. These are slightly trickier ones. Let's take the previous example. In this line, length equals to 15. Length takes the value 15. Now, if I ask you to increase the value of length by 5, you will probably do it in this way. Length plus 5. But remember it doesn't end there. We also need to store the updated value of length. But do we create a new variable to store the updated value of length? Not necessarily. You can store the updated value of length in length variable itself. So on the right hand side of the assignment operator we increase the length by 5 and store the new value of length in the length variable itself In situations like these where you are using arithmetic operations and assignment operations on a single variable you can use a shorter notation so as per our example you write the variable you are updating that is our Uh, length variable on the left and the value by which you are updating it that is by 5 on the right and this is how it looks length plus equals to 5 this shorthand way of performing operations on a variable and assigning the result back to the variable itself is called the compound assignment operator in fact we can use any other operator in the same way For example, x minus equals to five subtracts five from x and assigns the result back to x. In a shorter way of writing, x equals to x minus five is x minus equals to five. Similarly, you can perform similar compound assignment operators on multiplication, division, and modulo operation as well great with that we just covered two types of assignment operators basic and compound solve the next few problems to better understand the application of these concepts